Ryan. Well, today is National Women and Girls in Sports Day. It's a day to celebrate not just female athletes, but also women working in sports professions like our very own sports director, Lauren Walsh. Lauren is joining us live now. Thanks so much for being here, Lauren. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Audrey. Nice to talk to you guys. This isn't my usual <laughs> time that I come on air, but it's I really know. nice to come live. Thank you for waking up early. So um, <laughs> let's first talk about your background. Did you always want to become a sports journalist? Share with me just your dream and how your career has evolved. Sure. Um, now, I wasn't that kid who was voicing over games when I was five years old. It was more of a gradual realization because frankly, I didn't know that this was a potential job opportunity for me. Oh. So in high school, I was playing three sports and I had a coach who was like, oh, would you be interested in doing something on camera? And it, this makes me sound old, but he gave me a camcorder oh. and was like, go shoot the football game and talk to the coach. And I loved it and I really loved writing. So he was, kind of gave me the idea of, well, did you think about broadcast journalism? And I had always been infatuated with following sports, growing up in the Boston area and playing them. Mm -hmm. And I happened to grow up in a time where Boston won <laughs> North of <laughs> championships in my lifetime. So that felt like it was the biggest thing going on in the world because Boston was such a sports crazed city and still is. So that whole environment, kind of a mix of those factors really led me to pursuing it in college. But I think it's nice to see more high schools have media programs and things of that nature, even middle schools, because I didn't know this is an option when I was a young kid growing up. And I know you're a proud Syracuse alum too. Um, did you know in college for sure, like, hey, this is this is exactly what I want to stay on. This is my path because you, you know, had already enjoyed it so much. Yes, uh, I'm a very decisive person, and usually once I make a decision, I'm going for it. So once I got a little taste of it in high school, the decision was made, and I wanted to. I was going to maybe run track slash cross country at a division three school where I was hoping to do journalism as well. But I had the decision of, well, I'm not going to be a professional athlete, but I could be a professional broadcaster. So that's why I chose Syracuse and really poured all my time into student media there. And it was great, prepared me really well for the job and I love it. Good, Lauren. And lastly, share your inspiring message to other females out there who want to one day be exactly where you are. Well, uh, I'm wearing my bet on women sweatshirt. I am a Love huge it. proponent of women in sports, whether that's talking about them, watching them, playing them, of course. So I have always felt like sports are a place for women and girls, and there's no reason why women should not be involved. Um, we are just as athletic, just as capable, just as interested in sports as men are. So I have always had that mindset that I belong here, other women belong here, mm -hmm. and I think a community of women supporting each other in those various aspects of sports is really important versus competition and mm -hmm. you know um there's really no need for tearing down other women because there's room for all of us there are so many things to do in sports even sports marketing pr social media for teams so um i think that the <laughs> the sky is the limit mm -hmm. or as michael jordan says the ceiling is the roof <laughs> for women in sports <laughs> Well, we are thankful you're part of our team here, Lauren, and it was a pleasure having you on The Local Vibe. Thank you and all those other women and girls in sports out there. We hope you feel loved and celebrated every day. We'll be right back, folks. We're taking a quick break.